What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here. I'd like to welcome you guys back to UFC 3. We are moving on here. We have finally entered the UFC and I can't wait to get on with my first fight. Let's do it. Uh oh, Arthur Jackson talking smack. Coming for you, you'll see this face soon. Hope you can make it to the big leagues. Oh, that's savage. All right, so we got our Dana White has signed it. Fifteen thousand a show, ten thousand per win. So I didn't have to win. It's a five-fight contract. All right. The American dream. All right, guys. So it's time to go on. Let's go ahead and simulate. Oh, whoops. How many fights do we have? So we just got to win all fights by stoppage. That makes sense. We... Hold on. So the first rookie rival, win all fights by stoppage. Get at least, get at least one fight to high hype. Alright, well we'll see how that goes. That's quite a few fights. All right, next offer. So he's my rival, though. But I still have fights to do to get into it. All right, we got a bit of an advantage. We got quite the advantage here. His grappling is better. My striking is immensely better. I mean, they're all the same, so the camp week is still three weeks. So five fights ahead of us. Um, should I pay for something? I think we will. Oh, I see what it's saying. And eventually you can get the high level. Oh, I don't know. Okay, what are you doing? Come on, load. Eventually we'll fight him, I'm thinking. You never get rid of us. As for a little, get carried away. You can get knocked in and carried away. My attitude varies by day. I want to maximize my performance here. Told you I'm coming for you. Just sign my UFC contract. Just keep being sassy. I like being sassy. That's a good one. All right, let's train. Let's boost it. 77. The stamina goes up. Oh, we've already taken an accuracy hit, though. Jumping rope is dangerous. So those little girls down... Man, they don't know what they're doing. Strike speed. I should do, like, one of each, I feel like. At least. Yeah, I gotta get this toughness up. It's too low. That thing eventually really needs to boost.
everyone. I'm Megan O'Levy, and this is your UFC Minute. The UFC returns this weekend with a fresh face who is destined to make headlines. When UFC President Dana White went looking for a fight, he was hoping that he would end up with a future UFC star. And those are the expectations after he signed a regional champion who has dominated the local middleweight circuit en route to his Octagon debut this weekend. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Coming up next, we get to this UFC Here we go, guys. division fight. We got to get ranked now. Well, he won his fight on Dana White looking for a fight and did so with style points. So here he is. That's awesome. His UFC debut. Now the paycheck gets bigger and the audience gets bigger. Will there be an adrenaline dump? Will he experience some UFC jitters? You have to ask the question, Joe Rogan. Because it's fucking me. Get some money. UFC newcomers succumb to the Currently undefeated, but that doesn't mean anything. The bright lights of the famed UFC octagon. We'll see if it's a factor for this young man tonight. All this right, I'm excited. Standing striker. What he wants to do is use. Sorry, man. Mark Velez. Well, fans around the world have been waiting with bated breath for this young man to make his walk the problem to the that weight ends tonight. I'm surprised and that that social media handle was vacant level. or Our available. Tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. All right, so I got an inch on him, same weight, and I got the reach advantage. With similar roughly the same and age. Some differences in reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Well, I got to play this one out. You guys already know. Middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, making his UFC debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. The gentleman. Woo! The gentleman. <laughs> A grappler, holding a professional record of 15 wins, two losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, the problem. The what? Herb Dean, our referee for this one. You ready? You ready? So is that We are underway here from Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. All right, so here we go with round Oh, one. big first hit. Dana White looking for a fight. He has arrived at the UFC debut. And when you have this type of fight, and this that was type nice. of pressure, sometimes fighters succumb to it. But when you talk to this young man, you don't get the sense that he will. Supremely confident and really feels like this UFC debut could have come a few years ago. He oh, no. Go. We'll see if he can get off to a good start tonight. Switch. Establishing the jab here. All of those are blocked. See, I don't want to waste the stamina. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Oh! oh. Nice. And there he swung with a haymaker. And that one certainly found the target. Ooh. Oh! Go oh, hit him! There. He got hurt. Big shots. Nice. Oh, go! Oh, big uppercut! How about that shin? How is he still Here's standing? A hard shot with the left. Now he's starting to figure it out. Oh! Oh, huge block! Well, he gets cracked to the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. Just You've being careful. Get that head off the center line. Beautiful right leg kick there. Clipped him with the jab. Slightly See, deflected. I gotta... He lands with the left. Try to establish that jab. See, he's starting to figure me out. Tags and both guys really throw oh, I couldn't block it. Seconds now to go and I'm gonna get up. I'd, I'd rather be up on top. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Finds his range with the. Yeah, I want to get in the middle. 
just out of range with that strike. Oh, oh big hit. Right hand. There you go. One minute to go in round one. Well, Joe keeping his opponent at distance with that effective jab. Oh, he landed a huge Hard hook there, hook. Joe. Nasty combinations here. Big left. Oh! Oh, that cut on his eyebrow is not in good shape. The more blood How is he still lose, getting the up? you get, this man has donated several pints tonight. See, he's doing good with his stamina. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Go! Oh! He got saved, man. That big ass kick. I'd say I won that round. Your opponent was stunned in the previous round. Their health may be low. So basically, we gotta push it right in this next round. I wanna unlock more kicks. Jesus, that was murderous. Big old stun. So he stunned right at the end of the round. So that's important. I wanna go in and I I, I smell blood in the water. Second round here. Oh, he was going in for a... Starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Oh, another stiff jab Ooh. here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. He's starting to figure it out. Nice shot. He's blocking almost all these shots. He got tagged there. And the kick lands. See the total strikes. Oh. Snapping off that jab. Oh. Come on. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. Nice defense there. Huge block. Come on, I can't. He's blocking everything. Back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Oh! Go! Oh, oh, get him! He's got him right here. Oh, straight right. How is he still breathing? He's off some huge punches here. He got so lucky. How is he still breathing? I don't understand. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. And lands a good shot. Hey, hang on. Let's see. He's got more stamina than me. On oh, I tried to block it. Single. You know what I should have done? Is like, cam okay, up. Both fighters get up now. Oh! oh! He's got him hurt here. Oh, he's yeah, he's get him! him. Go, go! Get him! That's it! That's it. We got him! Woo! That was insane! What a great Dropped fight! Backflip! Took care of business on the ground. Really? Debut excellent, fight is a win. Job. Yeah, Joe, it was only a matter of time, man. I wait till I get stronger. It's one thing to try to score when you have your opponent. In that was nice. I, that that was excellent. Ground. I'm really it's happy with that. Thing to try to end the fight, and that's exactly what he was trying to do here tonight. Elbows and punches and hammer fists, one weapon after the next. Oh, in once I got on top of him. Look at the blood. Nicely done there. Oh. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the gentleman. Well, yes, sir, with the gentleman. The UFC debut as he gets the job done here tonight, and the celebration is on with his coaches and his teammates. 1-0 oh in the big show. Can't start much better than that. That was really awesome. For the photo. <laughs> All right, nice. What did we get? Oh, these are just progresses. All right, contract goals, win all fights by stoppage. 25 grand cash. Eventually, they see, if you don't get the knockout wins or the submission wins, you'll run out of time.
attributes. Which we're definitely... Oh, look at all these. See, these are really low, so that was just limiting what I could do. That makes sense. Double end bag drill. So the, there's more things to learn, but they, they cover more stuff. You know what I mean? I think I'm going to go with the wrestling 101. Okay, uh, I'm going to keep training. I want to stay training for now. The moves I do want, but I don't know if there's any of these ones that I need. Mike will made it. Skrrr. Keep going with that top game. I got to increase it because on the ground, I'm completely useless at the moment. Keep going. So this is a submission offense and grapple stamina. This includes the top game and the bottom game, which I want to boost. Double end bag. The little single win make you think it. This guy is really salty, isn't he? Work the takedown. There we go. I'm cool. I'm content with that. Eventually, the more advanced gyms, you'll be able to work on like more stuff in one training session. That's what I'm guessing. My fitness is actually pretty good. Get those strength. I want to boost those to like an 80. My leg strength is pretty high. So my kicks should be deadly. Top this. That's got to go up. We're at a 91. This is a better gym, so we're more likely going to get better fitness out of it. 
What happened to strikes? They're not here. They're, they're, this works on something else. What are you thinking? Quick shoots? All right, we're taking a bit of a hit. There we go. Boost it up a little bit. All right, we're done there. So now I think it's time for the next fight. It's way different. I'd say it's not, it's simplified, but it's also complicated at the same time. Fight height bonus. Look at that popularity boost. And a fight height bonus again. Opponent quality. Good. We're at 95%. Ready. Let's do it. I'm ready to go. Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. All right. I'm ready. Let's come out. All right, so here he is, a very accomplished striker, finally making the walk to Look the octagon with me. Get tonight. some money. Gotta yeah. think he'll be interested, of course, in keeping this fight standing. In Look, there's no one in the house. seats because it's the undercard. No one cares. Our tail of the tape. All right, let's see what we're dealing with here. Roughly same apart, age. Two fighters with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffett. So it should be relatively even. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight I think my reach is longer, so, but he's a bit taller. Eleven wins, five losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Ferocious. Oh, Ferocious! I thought he said Fellatio. Well, his name is Fellatio to me. I love the little heart. That's cute. Mario Yamasaki. You ready? We're ready. We are underway here at the MGM Grand right, buddy, let's do it. Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. So he left himself open. In his UFC debut, here he is making the walk yet again. Big we'll stomach. He can move to 2-0 oh in the UFC, and that could set him up for a potential contender-type fight. Nice. This is a guy who is all the rage with fight fans right now, given what he did in the debut. Oh, I hate wasting it like that. He'll certainly have even more confidence as he makes the walk here tonight. Oh! That left high kick came out of nowhere. He's fainting with the punch. Leg Got that now. leg. Nice. Both guys have proved to be dangerous in the opening seconds of this fight. Caught him with a punch. I hate wasting. Oh, big over. Doing an excellent job blocking here. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Damn it. Go for, for it. The single leg now. There's Posture. The Just over Work him. To go. Work him. Oh, big shots from the top. How much more can he take? Oh my God! Do it. Wow! Beautiful ground. I can't believe I took him out KO. that fast. How about the ground and pound to finish the fight, Joe? That is as good an offensive execution as we have seen on the that ground was sweet. in recent memory. One big shot after the next. He wasn't just trying to score or bide time before the referee stood them up. Now Damn. we're inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer. He didn't put up much of a fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki. I was just a better fighter there contest. overall. Two minutes, one second of the very first round. Declaring the winner by Nathan. The gentleman. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night. I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go. But at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one. And he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight. Right on. Wins one? I think it is. But slowly and surely, you're going to have to retire the sooner and sooner you get.
But look at that money. That's a lot of money. Eventually I'll have enough money to like buy the quality, like the much better gyms. But they're expensive. So we'll have to wait till then. Oh, what do we got here? Have a good one, guys. So pretty, so pretty. Put you in the guillotine, brave bitch. See me better tap out before you see a black out. Back out of the cage, you may fight another day. Till then, do the dance. One, two, get in tune with the motherfucking chain. Yeah.